Hey everybody, welcome to our video on linking an Excel spreadsheet to an Access database. This is a, a very easy method to get a snapshot of data from an Access database into a spreadsheet. It involves a, a one-time uh, setup and it gives you a read-only connection between your spreadsheet and your Access database. Now to be clear, we're talking about having an Access database that, had, that, that, that is acting as your data source or your system of record for your data. The spreadsheet is going to provide you with a read-only view of the data in your database. So it's very easy to set up. It's a one-time setup. And once you get it set up, you can deploy this to a customer and they can uh, open the spreadsheet and click the refresh button on the data tab and get a current view of data at any point in time they need to. They can set up formulas that, that work off of that data and I'll show you how Excel will adjust itself to uh, additional rows of data, and it will adjust the formulas for you if you uh, if we make sure we set it up correctly. So let's take a quick look at the database we'll be using as our source. This is the database I've used in some other other videos recently. We've got two tables and a query. Uh, in this example, we're going to link to our quarterly sales table that has uh, nine rows of data and just a couple of columns. Very straightforward. Let's go ahead and close our database and open. A copy of Excel. So this is a, a fresh um, spreadsheet, nothing's been done to it, or start from scratch. So to set up our linkage to the database, we go to the data ribbon, and go to the get external data tab, and we're going to link to an, ex to an access database. So we're going to click from access. This opens up our, fr our file browser window. I'm going to go to uh, define my database. There it is. It's database. Click open then this window is going to give us a view of all the queries and the tables that are in this database. Okay, So we're going to use the quarterly sales table, but it's very cool that we can, we can use a query from the database as a source, the data source. This is very powerful because this means that you're not just limited to putting raw tables in your spreadsheet. You can exclude certain columns, you can write a query and exclude certain columns from tables, or you could write more complex queries. Um, I think it might be a rare instance, really, where a customer is going to be asking you for data from a single table. More than likely, their needs are going to be a little more complicated than that. If you have a database that has any, any complexity to it at all, uh, there's a good chance in order to get a customer data that's useful to them, you probably have to join several tables to one another. Okay, and that's that's where the query comes in. You can you can join tables to one another and give them a nice good view of some data. Um, you even have the ability to, instead of making the customers summarize data, you can do that right in your queries if you need to. You have a group group by query with some sums and averages or whatever it is they need, and uh, really get them some some nice data in the spreadsheet to start with. Now we are going to link to in this example the quarterly sales table. Like I said, we click OK, and then we get another another window here. A couple things going on here. And this top section refers to what you want the data to look like when it lands in your spreadsheet. Now we're going to use a table in this case, but you've got some other choices here if you'd like. This next selection is you can tell it to create a new worksheet when it pulls in the data or go to an existing spreadsheet. And we're going to use an existing spreadsheet, but I want to put it in a different column in a different location. Okay. I want to put it, just pull it down just a little bit, okay? Right, and properties. Let's take, a, let's take a look in the properties box here. So this connection name is going to become a part of your table name in Excel. And we'll see where that goes in just a minute. Um, if you're going to have more than a, more than one table uh, linked in like this, it's probably it's going to be a good idea for you to give it a name. If you give it a description, it can help you in when you need to modify connections later on if you need to make a change to the way you're connecting to the database. There is a, a, a button on here, the connections button, which is grayed out right now, where it will list the various, all the connections you have in the spreadsheet and having this description could help you um, differentiate between various connections. So you can give it a, a description here, sales by quarter by division. Okay, refre refresh control. Enable background refresh is a good idea. You can tell it to refresh every so many minutes. I'm not going to. You can tell it to refresh every time you open the spreadsheet. That's probably a very good idea. 
The rest of these are not used for an access connection. On the definition side, okay, this connection file, this is actually not a connection file as much as this is this is the database itself we're connecting to. And that's already been selected for us because we chose that on a, a screen a few, a few clicks back. This connection string is the database connection string to the access database. Okay, if we were connecting to some other database, like a SQL Server database, there's one of these other options over here, this, this connection string would be very different. Okay, you have the option of saving the password. Okay, undo that. Saving the password in the connection string right there. Okay. Command type is also very cool. Okay. So right here we've got table selected because we told it we're going to hit the table called quarterly sales. But if you didn't want to use a table and if you didn't have a query that already existed in the database, or let's say you don't own the database, thus you can't put a query in the database, but you want to use a query. You can choose SQL here and then type the query in here in the command text. And it'll execute that query as your data source. All right. And authentication settings, in my case here, I'm using, uh, I'm connecting on the same uh, computer. I'm going to use Windows Authentication. Um, you might not have a situation if you're going from one machine to another, from one machine to a server. You'll just have to uh, take a look at those when you get there. All right, so that's going to be it for this. We click OK, and then, oh, we lost where we wanted it to go. Uh, there, there we go, and click OK, and there we go. There is the picture of what our data, what our data in the database looks like right at this moment. Now this is pretty cool. Excel builds for us automatically a table, and what that means is. It's more than just this border. This border is significant. There's a little grab handle down here, okay? You can put formulas over here, let's say, and you can drag this border around those formulas. And the next time you refresh data, if there are more rows in this, da in this table, this table border will expand to include the new rows, and it will replicate your formulas down the page to have to the bottom of the, of the table. This is also useful. Check this out. We will do let's go to the home page. Let's do an auto sum on these two columns. Okay. Let's save our table, our, our spreadsheet really fast. Let's get it in the, get it in the same folder I've got the database in. Let's use book one as the name because I don't really care. Right here. Another thing we can do is we can, you can, I'm just going to, you can do some formatting and it will save the formatting when you refresh your data. Now the way we refresh our data manually, remember we set it up to, to refresh whenever we open the spreadsheet, but you can refresh manually by coming to the data tab and clicking the refresh button, okay? And remember I told you that you can see the list of your connections in the spreadsheet? That is under this button right here, connections. And there you can see the name we gave it, the top, and the top uh, text box, and there's a description we gave it in the next text box. You can manage these um, once, you're, once you have them selected. So let's close that. Now let's, let's do a save. Now you will have some difficulty um, updating data in your in your database if your spreadsheet is open. So I'm going to close the spreadsheet. I'm going to open our database. Go to our quarterly sales table. And add another row. Okay, so we've got nine. We're gonna go to ten rows. Third quarter, 2015. Uh, division B two. Let's give them. Um, let's give them two hundred fifty thousand gross sales and one hundred twenty thousand in gross margin. Okay, close our table. Let's see if we can open our spreadsheet. Now, now we've got we've got a little bit of code in here now. It's not, it's not code that we wrote, but it's code that Excel wrote, and it's going to ask. It's going to give you this uh, the security warning. So you want to enable the content. Now, see here, it's unhappy with us because our our database is currently open, and it's going to have to click through a couple boxes here. But I found that if you do go ahead and just click through them, it will let you reconnect. Would you like to connect to the database anyway? Yes. It's going to bring you all the way to here. We click OK. I'm going to get this. looks like an ugly warning. Again, there's no database. There's no password on this database. So we just click OK. And look, 
it refreshed itself anyway. And so our, our table expanded itself by one row. We got an additional row data here. It pushed our auto sums down to stay under the table. It kept our formatting over here. So this can be a very could be a very powerful and easy way to get data into a spreadsheet for your customers. I could envision even building a dashboard for customers. Maybe uh, maybe on the top sheet here you have a couple of graphs that are using um, data tables on some other sheets that the customers don't see as a data source. And you open your data bit, you open your spreadsheet rather, and it refreshes itself. And uh, boom, on top on this this top sheet you've got graphs that have adjusted itself to to show your customers, you know, whatever it is they need to see on this, uh, you know, whatever's in the database, you know, some, whatever the state of the union is at this moment. So anyhow, that, again, just a very quick and easy way to, to connect a spreadsheet to a database. I hope you've gotten something out of this one. Um, next video I'll probably do on you doing the same sort of thing, but using some code on the Excel side to link to the Access database. Hope you got something out of this, and uh, I'll see you next time.